can bank on it You can put a hundred grand on it Anything I said, I stamp on it In a private plane, I lamp on it Lele, oh, then they call me bank on it Cause I walk around with the bank on it Show them hey you guys welcome back to a new vlog how's everybody doing so as the title suggests today we are going to uh decorate my console table which finally came in i've actually had it for like three days now and i've not un unwrapped it as you can see a poker background yeah because that's how much i love yours like i'm waiting until i can vlog again and then now we'll unwrap it together i am so excited this is a sign for you to get um a console table the way it ties in everything Thing together like aki kwanza ukiingia tu hapo kwa mlango it looks so elegant yeah I, I hope i hope it akai like that to you guys but yeah i really really love it and i'm going to plug you where i got it and everything you all know i'm the queen of plugs okay i wouldn't say that but you all know me i don't get keep anything here but yeah i really love what the fundi did with that absolutely gorgeous initially i thought the table was a bit long but after staying with it for like two days, three days, it grew on me and I was like, you know what? It's actually not that long. It looks perfect. So yeah, I want to unwrap it with you guys as we decorate. Um, so I was thinking of going to China Square to get a few things to decorate the table. But the thought of going all that way just for a few things uh, is just really not something I want to do. So I'm just going to use... Uh, things that I have like coffee books I also need to get more coffee books for my coffee table but for now I feel like they look way better as your apple so yeah we're going to do that with you just now this video is actually just going to be about that so it would it shouldn't be that long guys tell me why my uh, last vlog only had seven uh, comments seven comments guys leave a comment please just comment even if you don't like uh something comment I'll, I'll take the the criticism i will i will honestly because i just want to interact with you guys and the only way i can do that is through the comments like if you don't like watching something on my vlog i can change but now if you guys don't comment how am i going to um know that you enjoyed watching i know the the likes um also count but i feel like the comments count more so kindly just comment on this one if you'd like if you like if you're going to like what i'm going to show you just comment if you also don't like it don't be shy just tell me and i'm going to change okay so before we get started i know every time i bring in something new i always clean but today we're going to do something different today i want to give you a story time guys msi log off it's not going to be boring it's just a very short uh story so and i i want you guys to tell me if i'm the one who was on the wrong or not actually i wouldn't even call her like my friend friend same to me acquaintance I'm a, okay let me just say my friend for the sake of the story so yeah let me uh put you up somewhere because i'm getting tired you will pay a cocker story then we decorate our entryway table or console table if you like so yeah hey i think this is so much better but then you can do it also, the collarbones are showing off. I used to hate my collarbones, you guys. I used to hate, hate them. And then now, all of a sudden, I like them. But anyway, so story, story. <laughs> so, this friend of mine, I'm just going to call her a friend, okay? Uh, she was coming into the country and she wanted to be hosted. So, this person is actually also a YouTuber. So, she wanted to come here and create content, which I was cool with. Because, guys, you know, I live alone and my house is... Like it can uh, easily accommodate two people, me and her, right? Yeah, she was a uh, lady. So she was like, uh, I'd like to come to your country and then film uh, just for content. I was like, yeah, she just tell me when you're ready. You're very much welcome. So yeah, that's what happened. She came and I hosted her for the first day, the second day. Like I'm saying, this story in Araka The first day, the second day, the third day, it was all cool. Uh, so there was this particular time that we were going to town. It was actually a holiday. Uh, to cost me to exchange pesa in their currency, in our currency, her money into our currency because she needed to spend a few things here and there. So that particular day when we went, uh, the place, the burial. Would we, actually, she was actually able to exchange the money. I've actually remembered. But the other place that she wanted to go was closed, so we had to come back home. 
and then she would go the following day because the following day uh it was like a weekday it was a work day so the shops would be open right so we came back home vizuri we were just chilling so the following morning i come kaya nae and then i was happy to create content me i didn't want to go because at this point i was feeling like i'm just spending my um my transport to and fro you at the end I took to Menda Thika road like niko tunapeleka and I was catering for my transport which I didn't have a problem with honestly uh yeah so to kaenda so there this other day I was like me juni ilikuwa nishamuonyesha pani anaenda I was like I, I don't think me I'll go cuz at this point pia mimi I'm feeling like ah, natumia to transport yangu uh, I was like if you get lost utaniambia and I'll give you directions also I feel like ku maneuver in Nairobi is so easy it's so easy wezi pote especially kama uko na Anyway, yes. So the following day kafika, akajitayarisha vizuri. I cannot believe I'm exposing myself like this. Wow. It is what it is. So the following day kafika and then uh she got prepared and then she, when she was leaving, I asked her. Now this is where now the the problem was. I asked her, uh would you be carrying your laptop with you? And then she was like, "No, I I'll, I'll be leaving it because it's heavy and I'm not even going to use." Then when she told me that I was like, "Okay, cool. Do you think you can help me with your laptop I use?" Now have in mind first of all I know laptops niki to like private I know you shouldn't share it with just anyone but mimi niko na laptop na mtu akiniomba laptop says nyima especially if you are my friend like I trust my friends like that I don't think naweza kunyima laptop kuni utadu and if if there is something private that I don't want you to see I will put it in a private folder na itakuwa na password so you can't access anything that I feel like inaweza ni jeopardize in any in in any way so when I asked her um, if I could use her laptop, she was like, "No, uh, my laptop is private." Was, she said she had private things that she didn't want me to see. And I asked her, "What, what do you think I'm going to do with the laptop?" I wanted to watch my videos, guys, because like of course her laptop had her account. So if I watch my videos, it means that I am increasing my views. So that's what I I like do sometimes, guys. I'm t I told you I'm my number one fan. Okay, if I meet someone, I'm like. Let me watch my videos. <laughs> I always want to increase my views. So that's what I'm always doing. So I was like, ah, if she's leaving and she will not be using her laptop. Remember that's what I asked her the first time. Will you be using your laptop? She's like, no, I'll be leaving it. Then I was like, ah, our basis, you help me with it. I watch my videos. Then she was like, no, it has private, um, private things that she didn't want me to see. Which I was totally okay with it. Although it was weird because I was like, you really don't trust me. You think I would like look through your things cuz this is someone that ameata di mango zake kwa kwa bedroom yangu like i feel like if i was malicious that way if you to some extent you don't trust me enough then why are you leaving your things kwa nyumba yangu like you feel like um i'll go through a manta chukua kitu anyway guys so mrembo kasema no my laptop is private and um, i can't help you with it mind you this person when when ali fika i could get, get some vibe of uchoyo <laughs> Like to do much because even when we are when we are having dinner, like I'm hosting you guys. If I'm hosting you, me, I say, I'm going to cater for your food. Can you umeza changa your part of the of the food? Remember, this is someone who's not like really my friend. Nani kim host kwa nyumbani? She is not paying a dime. Like si ati ni mwambia oh uki kamanda ku host basi uku nani pia pesa ya ya kulala. No, because have in mind. I don't know why I'm even justifying myself. But then I'm being if I'm wrong, I'll be wrong. <laughs> I'll accept it. But in my mind I'm thinking if this person was actually uh quite Airbnb, they would be spending money. So you're saving all that money in your Airbnb. The least you could do is contribute. Na lazima nishine nikimwambia. Like this is a grown ass person. Every time I'm making food, I'm like, do you think you can? Do you think you you are a grown ass person? You don't think you you where where is it? You don't let me. By the way, since I'm staying here for free, let me do this and this nothing. Anyway, that was not even a problem to me. But so time in your line, yeah, she can't uh, help me with her laptop. I was like, okay, it's fine. And then now <laughs> this is now where the pettiness started. Okay, so on my on my side, I was also petty. So she um borrowed me my power bank because she wanted to use it. Then I was like, uh, no, if you feel like you can't help me with your laptop, then I'm not going to help you with my power bank. Yeah, and I was straight up about it. I was like, if you feel like you cannot trust me enough with your laptop then i'm not going to help you with my power bank honestly and call me petty call me whatever but i just feel like and i know there i know a laptop and a power bank may be really different but guys it is what it is me was like yeah if you're not going to help me with your laptop 
which I know it's a private thing, but guys, come on, we are friends. I mean, and I need trust enough. Kulala kwangu na kuwacha vitu kwangu. So there is no way I was going to. I don't know. Did you think I was going to steal it, guys? I also have my own laptop. That's actually something else. But now I couldn't watch my videos with my laptop because I already have like my account, the same account I use kwa phone, kwa, kwa TV, na kwa laptop is the same. So me watching my videos with my laptop wouldn't make much of a difference compared to someone else's account. I hope that makes sense. So yeah, she was like, girl, no, you cannot use my laptop. So I was like, okay, cool. So when she borrowed me uh, my power bank, I was also like, uh, yeah, no, you are also not going to use my power bank because it's stitch fatter. If you feel like when you enjoy enough not to help me with your laptop, because when you do my going to that for in the laptop, a laptop, <laughs> you know that's how you know actually place into a make worker. If you can't trust me enough to to uh, use your laptop, like what exactly did she think I was going to do with the laptop? Steal it or go through her things? I don't think so. I, I don't even care to to look through. Mind you, this is someone who is from another country. So if it's Paychecks, ziko hapo, ama clients, ama emails, like it wouldn't help me in any particular way. So, ni kamambia, yeah, uh, if you're not going to help me with your um, laptop, then my power bank pia stays. Yes, kusaidi na yo. <laughs> and then she got mad. She went to the bedroom. She started packing. Mind you, I had not even told her. I had not, like, sick chati nili mfuza. Because I was like, nisawa, hapo tu ndiyo tuta draw the line. Kamo taki kunisaidia na kitu yako, pia mista kusaidia na kitu yangu. So yeah, and then she went to the bedroom, she packed and she left and I was like, no, I'm good to dance. This is someone that I was actually hosting for free, for free guys. So yeah, she left and I was like, ah, it's fine. And then now she started writing for a ah, whole message and I was like, ah, Nisawa, it's okay. It is what it is. So next time I'm not hosting anyone. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, I have learned my lesson. Although she, she did like something that was bad. Do a little nyuma to laptop. I mean, come nyuma power bank. I was like sour. Kila mtoka ina bitu zake. Then she went to the bedroom. She packed and she left. And I was like, it's okay. See, I think you know, when you look at her, but that's on you. So now my question is, because when she left, she wrote me like a lot of messages and she seemed quite mad. So my point is, why are you mad? Do ni me kunyima power bank? Na wau ni nyuma laptop. Why are you mad? Why are you mad to ni mekunyima something that pia we uli ni nyima? Anyway, I know those two things are ni totally different. I know a laptop is private. I know, I know. But if you're my friend and you trust me enough to even leave it with me kwa nyumba, then I don't know why I shouldn't use it for YouTube. Anyway, maybe I'm sounding entitled. It's her laptop. She had every right to do with it how she see, like how she wanted. But sasa jwa ni nyima, hata mimi power bank ni kwa yangu. I had every right to do what I did. But yeah, I think you know one thing about me, I can talk. Let's go and um, to decorate our uh, what our entry table. So guys, comment down below. Namiambi, was I wrong for kumnima power bank? Maybe in, I will, I should have been the bigger person and just given it to her. Even though aluminium laptop, yeah, maybe, maybe that's what I should have done. But I don't know honestly. Uh, but yeah, comment down below and tell me what you think. Let's go and arrange. Oh, entry table. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. So yeah, this is the space where my uh, my what my console table will be coming in. And I know I had said that we won't wash. I think Kapani Pachafu. Let me just quickly wash it and then we continue with the decorating. You can bank on it. You can put a hundred gram on it. Anything I said, I stamp on it. In a private plane, I lamp on it. Let the old and call me bank on it. Cause I walk around with the bank on him. Show them Gangnam style, put the gang on him. Twist my fingers up on a bang on him. Let the old, let the old, yeah. Tobalo, go macho, yeah. Tobalo, my go macho, yeah. Nobody know too much. What do you think about it guys? I think I like it. Oh my god, it looks so nice. Do you know this is the part I'm unwrapping it? Man, you 
coffee books zenye zinakwanga hapo kwa coffee table but i think i like it zikiwa hapa i like them more zikiwa hapa and i'm only putting two i don't think i'm going to change this um like this entry way table and then over here i have this this also used to be on top of my tv stand uh, I think I'll just buy different things for those spaces so that at least it can be it different. This I feel like this is a like the whole setup and it looks like to your coffee table. Oh, how cute! Yo, that looks beautiful. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, I just love it. I am obsessed, you guys. Yo, wow. I'm also going to decorate it with this thing. It's a canvas canvas basket that I got from where did I get? Ah, I'll, let me just finish decorating. I'll tell you where I got everything from. But it usually doesn't have like a shape to it. You have to put something. And then I'm also going to add this black pillow just for the you guy to me cute. Right? Yeah. And then I have this um it's actually a scarf I bought from town I thrifted and I love the black and white. I feel like that one will tie in everything so well. So it's actually quite soft. It's functional. You can use it as a scarf. But for me, I'm going to use it as a, decor <laughs> as a, a, as a decorative piece. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just going to put it in the middle. Guys, that's my simple uh, entryway. <laughs> arrangement i know it looks so so like simple but i it's the simplicity that i genuinely love uh you know i can always like switch up these decorations that is called chini ziko ju i mean and then what i love is that this thing i can use it to place my keys now at least i have somewhere to place my keys but i love it it looks so simple but i love it at the same time so let me take you through where i got everything from you know me <laughs> So this round mirror, uh, I got it from a local fundi. I'll leave his number down in the description box. And honestly, you really don't need to break the bank when you're buying these things. Especially anything you see kwa channel yangu, it's always very inexpensive. Like I just know the plugs. I don't even know how I know them, but I just know them. Because if I tell you guys how much I bought this mirror for, you wouldn't even believe. And also it's... A bit affordable because it doesn't have a frame so if you want to have a frame you can also get that done uh, but yeah I love it also I feel like if you get this mirror zikia separate it would also be cheaper for those who want to save some coins and then on top here we have this um, fake flowers got it from house of leather these two coffee books guys I don't really remember the uh, shop that I bought them from and I remember they were so affordable like were they 300 each 300 I don't think it was 500 guys I've tried to look for that page because I want to add more my TV stand is empty my coffee table is empty I want to buy more coffee books na siju nita buy wapi yaki nimetafta your page nimekosa so if you know somewhere they sell affordable coffee books uh, just plug me and then there's of, of course this verse Nili buy um, house of leather, yes, and then this ca canvas basket nili buy from um, smart lady home. I think Nishamambia. This is just a random pillow nili buy uh, Kamukunji, and then this black, this this material is so soft. I got it from Town Nili Thrift. Eh, this one is so soft, by the way. It would also uh, be nice for like a scarf, but me, I'm just going to use it for decorating because yeah aesthetics over functionality anytime but yeah that is my console table absolutely lovely let me actually go outside so that you can see how it looks from the outside 
guys don't mind uh, my couch I've still not arranged it I was sleeping there but this is what you see from outside also I love that as you get in uh, the floating shelves Zina reflect qua this round mirror which oh that is so stunning it looks amazing honestly I feel like it looks good I love it we just need to switch uh, to buy uh, light fixtures like really cute ones oh yeah so honestly i i love how the space is um turning turning up like, also this is metal yeah simbao ni metal and it's very light so same thing na my coffee table it's actually usually very light which is of course good when you're trying to move things around out of stress so yeah that's how my console table has turned out so i got it from malcolm furnitures yes the same guys that i got my um, tv stand from uh, so one thing i like about malcolm is the fact that he understands aesthetics honestly he does so if you send if you send him a picture of what uh, you want him to make he's going to do a good job honestly because i've not been disappointed so far and i've also um hooked up one of my friends she's in mombasa she got a console as well and she got a bedside table and they were looking great uh so yeah patronize malcolm he's really good his prices are very good as well so please buy from malcolm uh you know malcolm uh the reason why i'm actually quite confident about him is the fact that i've seen um roda roda Wayua and ashley kenya they've also worked with her like when i say work i mean like they've gotten things from his business uh so yeah so i've seen some work here and there and he's legit please get things from him and it's on malcolm furniture's uh on instagram i'm going search the name it up later but i'm going to leave his uh name called description box even his number so that you can just directly talk to him if you don't want to go through the hassle of dming him waiting for him to um get to you so yeah oh my god i love that actually let me do it like this in the one chef's kiss absolutely amazing although in a car nikama go empty empty i think i need to switch up iso flowers in yeziko apple but this hour in due time but for now let's enjoy our console table uh so yeah you guys i don't even know how long this video is going to be i actually want to edit it right now and then i post it tomorrow is tomorrow on, oh no no i'll post it on sunday because uh yeah i usually have a schedule so need I post Sunday for you guys to watch. Oh yeah, let me see how comment sawa. Sisau comment. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye.